Hey there, Laurel here. It's Christmas on my YouTube channel because I'm going to be making this card today using a new stamp set from the 10 Stamps latest release. This stamp set is called Holiday Border and it's really all you need to pull together your Christmas cards. Check it out. Check it out. It's a uh, rubber cling stamp. Of course, it's screaming for some watercoloring to me. So I'm going to ink up that stamp with some Versamark ink and I'm going to press my card stock onto the stamp. Now you can use a misty or an acrylic block and use your stamp and press it onto the paper, but I chose to take my paper to the stamp today for whatever reason. You can't tell that it's uh, it's, it's stamped there because of the Versamark ink, but we're going to be doing some two-toned embossing here. And I'm going to be using the silver uh, embossing powder from Brutus Monroe and then the rose gold embossing powder, which is a beautiful rose gold, a true rose gold. It's what I really feel like rose gold is uh, as well. So I'm going and sprinkling on some of that silver embossing powder from Brutus Monroe, which is fantastic, sp uh, randomly onto the background. And then I'm going to fill in all of the rest of the images by sprinkling on basically dumping <laughs> on the rose gold embossing powder to get all the other images that didn't uh, get hit with that silver embossing powder. And if you get any strays, just brush the strays away with a dry paintbrush and you're good to go. Now I'm going to make a boo-boo on this card and instead of stopping and scratching the whole thing and refilming, I figured out a way to make it work. So stick with me here and you're going to see my mistake in just a second. So I've gone ahead and made sure that my image is completely covered with either the silver or the rose gold embossing powder. Funnel that back into the wide mouth jars. I love that they both have the wide mouth jars. And then I'm going to go ahead and start heat setting. Now I got my fingerprint there. What the heck? I got a fingerprint smudge there, and instead of scratching it, I'm going to use my sentiment border strip and cover that up. So, see my thumbprint? Like, what? I don't know. I don't even know how it happened. I don't know what I did. Whatever. So, I've gone ahead and heat set that and set it to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp uh, sentiment here. This is from another uh, stamp set from the latest release from the ton. And I'll ink that up with some Versamark ink. And this time I'm going to sprinkle on some of that gold, I mean not gold, silver embossing powder from Brutus Moreau and then heat set it. And then we're going to be ready to assemble this card and do some watercoloring and all kinds of fun stuff here. My heat gun was already warmed up and that's why it took like 0.2 seconds to heat set my sentiment strip there. <laughs> so that's going to save the day where my stinking thumbprint is. And I don't know if you can pick up the shine, but you'll get another close-up in a few minutes here of the two-tone embossing. I think it's just beautiful. That rose gold goes fantastic with his silver, I gotta say. So the watercolors I'm using today are the Kuretake, I don't know, Gonzai watercolors here. And I'm using four or five colors from the, I have the 36 count because I really liked the golds and the pearlescent colors that come in that count, but they also have a 12 count and a 24 count. And I'm just going to go in and start adding some colors here. I'm using a couple of browns, a couple of reds, and a green. Uh, so I am going to turn on some music. Maybe I can find some Christmas music. I don't know. It's probably all copyrighted. <laughs> so I'll probably get in trouble. But I'll find some music to play while I do some just basic, simple watercoloring. If you don't do watercoloring, you could do Copic coloring, you could do Spectrum Noir coloring, you could take your glitter pens like the Wink Stella or the Spectrum Noir glitter pens and color the images in with those. Use your kid's crayon, stamp this out and let your kids color it for some Christmas cards, uh, whatever, whatever your color and medium of your choice. This is a great set to uh, go in and color here. So let me just play some music and stop talking.
So I kept the colors of this card pretty traditional, but you could go untraditional or just have some fun with it. I just think it's fantastic. It's all you need for a card. I mean, in one stamp, all the masking and everything is done for you. <laughs> it's fantastic. So I'm going to take that sentiment strip there that I cut down, and I'm just going to apply it right on over the top of my thumbprint. Bye-bye, <laughs> thumbprint. You'll never know it was there. Well, you will because you've seen this video. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and hear this down to a red card base. This is a standard A2 card, as most of my cards are. I'm so boring. And that's going to be it. You know what I mean? Mass produce this baby. Sit down in front of the tube and just color. Just It's, it's so freeing. I think I did this early one morning and just spent so much time coloring. There's another card to the left. Kind of the same layout. I took a poinsettia from another uh, smaller stamp set that was released with this release and adhered it down there. And uh, yeah, so I've got two Christmas cards. Bam! Done. Thanks to the stamp set. So that's it. Take a look at my blog for a list of all the supplies that I used. And uh, I will catch you next time for my next video. Thanks so much for watching.